Poly packs. Okay, I was going through this second bin from the uh, from the recent collection I bought here. A random bin, if you will. Bin of randomness. This one looks to be more loose cards than the other bin. The other bin is more packs and things to go through. So let's see what we got going on in there. We got this front row connected. I guess three card set here with the little childhood photographs on the back. Actually, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's blurry. <laughs> it's the worst, worst picture in the world, but but pretty cool that they would put their, you know, little league photos in there or something like that on the back. But pretty damaged up, pretty beat up. So not really worth much. This is a promo card, Joe Smith, one of 4,000. So a sprint calling card, I guess, of some sort. It's all, it's all plastic, all hard plastic. But that's pretty cool. All right, what we got here? Let's just grab a couple of cards. All right, so we got some uh, just some common tops players here. Ramon Martinez, brother of Pedro, trying to probably get some batting advice here. Just just don't strike out. Vargas, L. Martin, Rogers. So these are all common players right there. Oh, here's what we got here. We got Wayne Gretzky getting the Lady Bing trophy. I don't know what the Lady Bing trophy is for uh, the Lady Bing. To the player who adjusted to having exhibited the best type of sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct combined with the high standard of abil playing ability. Wow. It's a long... <laughs> long-winded way to give somebody you know kind of like the kind of like the Walton Payton award I guess for football is essentially what it is but that's pretty cool never seen that before so put that aside there total that thing there Darren Oliver oh, this guy trying to avoid the tag but he is it looks like he's getting tagged out looks like you're out I don't know why they do this on on cards like like, it's, like, you almost want to show the player succeeding, right? Like, you don't want to show the player doing something bad. Actually, I've come across a few of those cards. I'm going to I'm gonna put them aside and maybe do a video about that. Because there's, like, a, there's some where they, you know, you're showing you're pitching, you know, or, you know, you're about to deliver the pitch, which is fine. I mean, that's in action, right? But there's also some where they're, like, you show them, you know, failing, like sometimes if you see him trying to do a bunt and like you can see the ball's already passed him or something like that. But so far these are all common players. But there's enough cards out there where it's like, why did they choose that for their... Oh, there's a Topps Gold card. Why did they choose that for their photo, right? Like why would you... Like this is the, the card that this guy's gonna, you know, look at and everything else and... Sure enough, it's going to be one of you failing or doing something wrong. There's a couple of them, like, they're getting hit by pitches. Like, this one's not so bad, but at the same time, too, like, clearly he's out, right? So the inning's over. He's throwing his helmet out. Someone's going to bring him his glove. Like, so it's it's not it's not the worst photo, but it's, it's just kind of funny that you'd pick a point where it's like they didn't succeed. All right, then this is John Walsh, image 95. So this must have been, like, a rookie quarterback of some sort, but... You have received a limited edition Image 95, what? Ace Tate card? Ace Aztec card? Ace Tate? Ace Tate? I can't pronounce words. Uh, but I don't know what... <laughs> God, I got John Walsh, but this is... <laughs> never... No, I don't think he ever panned out. I got Matt Kemp here and Martin... I don't know who that guy is, but Matt Kemp. Pretty nice, but not his rookie for sure. Uh, or I uh, stand to be corrected. Might be his rookie. 2007. So, I don't know. Normally, I think by this time they were saying, like, rookie cards on him. But that's his first year. At least according to his totals. So, whoop, what we got here? Nice. A Willie Stargle 71 tops card. Let's see how good this is. That's a pretty nice card. It's going to be a little banged up, right? Because as I learned from my PSA, I mean, my SGC ratings. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It comes right off. Look at that. A little dust. Uh, it's actually not in bad shape. But. Ah! That doesn't help. <laughs> All right. 
So pretty good. Pretty decent shape, but you know, a lot of wear and tear on the edge. The 71 cards are very hard to keep in order. And in fact, you know what, bud? I'm gonna switch this up. You're gonna get kicked out of your home. I'm gonna put you in the plastic. It's a lot easier for me to do. All right, there we go. Now you are in a nice plastic. All right, that's pretty cool. But nonetheless, yeah, 71 tops, hard to keep, hard to keep together, you know, in, 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 in somewhat neat or mint condition. Don't really know who you are. Brian Roberts, yeah, he was a, he did well for the Orioles. He had a good career with them. Is this the same guy? Because I don't even, nope, don't know you. From 2016, this card is. So he might still have a chance to be playing, but I don't know. Ivan Rodriguez, everybody knows him. Pudge, and then Lyle Overbay, he was an all right pitcher back in the day. Carlos Beltran, not bad. Billy Wagner, good closer for them, for the Mets for a while. Ooh, a little Bo Jackson 1990 mini card. A little crappy, but then you got Mark McGuire in the mini card. It's like a real hodgepodge of cards here. Keith Schuler, some sort of Bowman's best, like a refractor almost. Mm, too bad it's a piece ruler. All right, Pat Listash, who was a rookie of the year at one point, and then it kind of faded away. JT Snow, action pack card. Might be a rookie card for him. Yeah, it's a minor league card. A little banged up. Got this long card of Wes Wager, uh, Wedger. Wedger? Wager? 10 of 10? I don't know, but I don't know who he is. Darren Lewis. See, like, look at that. Like, that's like a good pitcher. Right? It looks like he's. It looks like the ball's in the glove, and him robbing somebody of like a home run or a cat, like of a hit. And that's a cool pitcher to put up for somebody. Another Joe Smith. Cliff Floyd. What do we got here. Uh, it's not Tim Brown. Who is this? Napoleon Kaufman. I don't know who that guy was. Ian Snell, another good pitcher. He was a decent pitcher for for a while there. Some stat leaders, uh, closers. I forget how good Randy Myers actually was as a closer. He had a lot of saves. Calvin Reese, rookie. Who we got? Scott Taylor. Major League Prospects from 93. Never really panned out. And again, another Pat Listash card. And this one is... Frankie Rodriguez, 91, but it's, oh, this is like all gunked up. So, there's that. Oh, who else we got? The future is now, Jason Bray. All right, well. And then, who's this? Kai Jana Carter, running mates. Oh, who's the other one? Oh, Jeff Blake. Hm. I've seen some of those. Uh, I saw... Uh, what did I get? I had that with the, somebody else. I forget who it was, but maybe I'll come across them soon. Uh, and then this is the Studio Heritage Series. This is when they kind of put them in the old-timey uniforms here. So, just four cards of that. And who's this? This is Rod Brewer. Oh, is this Donnie Baseball? It is. Nice. Always fun to get a Donnie baseball. Uh, and then this is the Kings, and that doesn't look like Wayne Gretzky, so I don't know who you are. <laughs> All right, Mike, uh, Michelle Petit. Don't know you, Mickey Morandini, Mike Lansing, and then what in the world is this? Using both hands, grasp the plastic bags on both sides of the notch located above and pull apart. This bag is not a toy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I almost I almost don't want to do it the way you say just because of the instructions you give me. I'll do it however I want to do it. Anything that needs this much this much explanation 
I mean, they, they must have gotten either sued or complaints or something. Like, you don't need to provide this kind of explanation on how to open cards. Could you imagine this, if this kind of warning was on every single, whoopsie, pack of cards you opened up, right? Like, just a, like, it was a big old warning, like, don't eat the plastic bag or something like that. Like, I mean, this is clearly hand done and someone put it in there. So let's see what this person would have put together. Yeah, Chris Morris Slam Dunk Series here for Collector's Choice. It's a little stuck together. Kevin Garnett. Oh, wow. Nice. What year is this? Obviously very young. This is rookie year. That's pretty cool. 96. That's his rookie year. All right, we'll keep that aside. Whoever put that together. Slam Dunk Series, Tony Dumas and Grant Long. So... Just these four cards, but getting that Kevin Grant, uh, Kevin Grant, Kevin Garnett, rookie in that. That's pretty cool. All right, what we got here? We got Eric Karros, who started out really well uh, as a when he was a rookie. Him and Piazza were like rookies of the year or, or nominees for it. I think Piazza won the rookie of the year. I don't know if Eric Karros did or not, but they were they were looking good. Jumbo Elliott. And then, who is this? Dikembe Mutombo. Nice, Fleer Flare, Dikembe Mutombo. Hot numbers. All right, we'll keep that aside. Then we got some more of these, but uh, not anybody I would know, but you got the young kid photos on the back. See, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of a nice, different tribute. Bobby Jones, I think, became a pretty good reliever. John Farrell. Not that John Farrell became a manager, though. Spelled his name differently. And then Scott Roofcorn. I think that guy pitched for a little while. But again, pretty cool. Pretty cool that they put their pictures on the back there. What we got here? We got a George Bell, Jorge Bell, Blue Jays. Not a rookie card, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it is a rookie card for him. Cool. Travis Fryman. I think. Big one that never really panned out, or name that never really panned out. Gold Leaf rookie, Jason Schmidt. Hmm. And who we got here? Jeff Granger, we don't really know. John Wetland with the Yankees. Look at that sweat mark going on on that hat. He was a good closer, but man, he put guys on base. Never anything easy. All right, Michael Tucker, that's a pretty good one. Classic little chrome action there on that one. Oh, this is part of that series, Babe Ruth Retires, but it's got eaten up on the top there. And then who we got here? Joey Hamilton. Nobody know. Gary Sheffield, Diamond Kings. This is a pretty cool card. And then Ultra All-Star, Gary Sheffield. I always like Gary Sheffield. I think he was a good player. He moved around a lot and everything else. But And then, so this is another Gary Sheffield card. Uh, this must be the card, yep, the upper deck interactive game so you get these cards and tell you what you got you got a single of course you get a single you got a double with him but pretty cool and then mike hampton you get this uh, i think this is kind of the insert here where they put the silver stamp auto on it and the yankee sticker all right let's start grabbing some more of these a lot of cards to go through here definitely a hodgepodge of, of cards don't know that guy cool hair what's that uh Pat Putnam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> looks like a, he looks like a fake character. It looks like they, they made him up. And then uh, hockey stickers. Hey, kids. Use these stickers on your hockey equipment. Yeah, sure. All right, Val Valenzuela towards the end of his career. Joey Cora. Alex Gonzalez, rookie. What do we got here? Charles Johnson, rookie. Hoof. Oh, I don't know who you are, Justin Johnson. John Smoltz, the regular card. Not with Tom Glavin on the on the front. So not every day you see that actual the one. Oh, wait a second. I've seen this. I've seen these. These are the Santa Claus cards for these. These actually go. I'm not gonna open this one because this one, I've seen these before. They they don't go for big money or anything, but like people buy them. We we sold uh we had a couple where the Santa Claus was in there. 
um, for the NFL Pro Set, and that card went pretty quickly. People, people collect that one. I don't know why, but they do. All right, so here we got something coming up. Here we got Michael Beldre, Charles Pearson Graf. So this one goes again to Scott Brocious, right? So first of all, one, tell me who you think this card should be, all right? The guy in the background or the guy in the foreground, right? But is Scott Brocious here trying to argue that with the that he's safe? It's like, why would you make this his baseball card? You can, you barely, you know, this guy's blocking his whole view. I'm sure he was, at the end of this inning, if he was out, he was at third base. You could have just taken a picture of him then. Like, it's just weird that you would use that picture, right? You could have just used a picture of him fielding. But, I don't know. Weird that you would make that. All right. So, Tom Fitzgerald. I don't know. You guys tell me if I happen to come across somebody good here on the hockey side, because... I have no idea. This looks like Brett Hull. Nope. They all look alike to me. <laughs> all right. Jeffrey Hammonds. I don't know you. Mark Newfield. Another one of you. Daryl Kyle. Larry Walker. Not quite as rookie, I don't think. Oh, I stand corrected. A Larry Walker rookie. There you go. Chuck Finley towards the end of his career. Brian Jordan. One of the rare dual athletes of uh, playing in the NFL and in the major league. Didn't get as much hype as uh, Deion Sanders, but he did pretty well. Played on the same team, I think, as Deion for a while, too. He was on the Atlanta Falcons, I think, when Deion was. So it's kind of cool that you'd have actually two guys playing baseball and football at the same time. Charles Johnson. We got the uh, electric diamond here for Kevin Stocker. Darren Dalton, looking unhappy that he's out, but Sean Green. All right, what do we got here? Just a Super Bowl card from Qual Edge. Yep. So, just telling you what the score was. We got Dan Wilkinson and Henry Thomas in a Bowman's Best sort of refractor. That's pretty cool. I think this is the Ishmael Brothers this is the either Rocket. I don't know if this is Rocket Ishmael. Might be. I know there's two Ishmaels, and I can't remember which one was nicknamed Rocket. But And then who's this one? LaShawn Johnson? I don't know who LaShawn Johnson is. But this guy from the Islanders. Jose Silva, Jim Paxton, Charlie Ward. He never really panned out. And Marty Cadova, he was actually all right for a little while. All right, let's see if there's anything else good in here worth showing you. Uh, we got a football members only stadium club, 50 card set. I wonder if the whole set is in there. Looks like it. Uh, so who's gonna be in here from the 1995 list? All right, you got Tim Brown in here. John Elway, these guys weren't rookies then, so what is this? Oh, it's just the members only, so it must just be key guys here. Top rookie picks, you got Schuler, Bowen, Bryant, you know, Marshall Falk, nice. That's a cool looking rookie. And then you just got the regular base cards here with, you got Rod Woodson, so now you're gonna, oh, there's little, little bricks together. I gotta separate those later, but Jerome Bettis, before he get, became the bus on the Pittsburgh Steelers, all right. Michael Irving. So they got the, all the, the names from 95. I'm sure Jerry Rice is in here too, and maybe even Brett Favre or something like that. But, but pretty cool rookie with uh, with Marshall Falk there. And then who is this? Chris somebody. And Tim Salmon, he never really paid out. I mean, he was a good player. JT Snow, him, we're, we're good players, just never panned out. But more Jumbo Elliots, all the Jumbo Elliots you can handle. Let's see. <laughs> and more Jumbo, I keep hitting the camera, sorry. Uh, more Jumbo Elliots. Why not? And I think we're, I don't, I'm going to go through these quick just to see if anybody pops out or anything cool. What the heck is this? Spend a day with an NFL player. All right, well, if somebody wants to enter that in. Another long card, but all bent out of shape. Uh, some Candiotti. Aaron Williams. A bunch of these guys, the throwback ones. 
another promo card here. So this is like in the mid nineties when all these promo cards were coming out from different types of brands and everything else, trying to put a, you know, getting these licenses from the colleges and everything, trying to put out cards. But they, those never really withstood or stood the test of time. I don't know. I don't know what these hockey cards, I could be getting somebody good, but I really don't know who, if anybody is any good. Benoit, Benoit. Yeah, well, you got Billy Martin. Uh, who's this, Lee? Who's that? Travis Lee, another numbered card here, certified card for Travis Lee. Barry Foster. Um, who else? Let's see. Oh, Curtis. Oh, I thought I'd say Curtis Martin for a second. That would have been nice. But no one else of a big name. A bunch of sticker cards. Let's see these. They're around here. Goose Gossage, Dennis Eckersley. Pretty nice, David Parker. But I don't think I'm gonna find anybody big in this one. You know, Phil Nevins. I think he coaches now. Here's Matt Williams' his little insert card. Um, let's see. Yeah, no one big here. So I don't think I, we got a Nolan Ryan card in here. All banged up though. That's probably why they threw it in here. And let's see who else we got. Oh, and a Cal Ripken card. Again, all kind of banged up. Messed up. But I don't know. And then you got a Randall Cunningham Pro Set. Pro Set Most Valuable Players. So not even the league's most valuable. Oh, look at that flat top. Nice. And then the last thing that was in here, which was pretty weird, that I didn't, I'd never seen before. I guess you got Classic Country Special Subset Autograph Cards. So Alan Jackson, and then you got, oh boy, I don't even know who, who would be in here. I don't even know country stars' names or anything, but Alan Jackson seemed to be the premier guy. Uh, Alan Jackson, you got Billy Joe Spears, uh, whew, I don't even know, you guys tell me, you guys tell me if uh, Gene Aubrey, I guess, Hank Williams Jr. is a big one in this, so I'll look this set up, I don't even know about, ooh, Nashville, much different now than it is back then, but, but I will, uh, yeah, I'll uh, look through this set, see if that's any good. And then uh, what else did we get? We got a couple other just random packs of cards here that they came with, but, but that's it. That was the other box. So it's a long way to go through those single cards, but again, some cool ones that came out of it. You know, that 71 tops, Willie Stargle. Um, got the George Bell rookie card, a bunch of Gary Sheffields. I'm actually kind of curious at this one. I'm gonna leave this one packaged up, but and then again, you got the Marshall Falk rookie in here and everything else. So. Pretty, pretty eclectic group of cards and some, some good ones and of course, of course some bad ones. I was expecting mostly bad, which is what we got, but you know, nonetheless, it's pretty cool. All right, I think I have another box to go through. I will check you guys later.